So recently I redesigned my website and when I went to share it on Instagram, I did so with a fun little graphic like this. And when I posted that, I got a ton of questions about how I did it, so that is what I'm going to show you in today's video. If you're like, oh my god, I don't even have a website yet, don't even worry, that is what I teach over at solopreneursidekick.com, so I'll leave a link in the description below for you to go and check that out. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Louise. I put out new videos every single week all about making the tech in your online business easier. So if that is something you could use a little bit of help with, definitely hit subscribe down below and hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. All right, so here is how to easily create a scrolling animation of your website. All right, so the first thing you need to do is download this Chrome extension. It's called Full Page Screen Capture. I'll leave a link for you below this video. So you'll go to this page here and then you just need to click Add to Chrome. And then Add Extension. Great, and you'll see it be added right here at the top. Okay, next you need to go to your website. Okay, so here's mine. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and click this little icon here and this is going to take a screenshot of my entire website. All right, so there we go. There is a screenshot of my site and then all you need to do is go to this icon here and download the image as a PNG. Okay, great. So if I click on that, we have our screenshot ready to go. Now I have a thing called parallax on my website. So as you can see, there is this gray bar here. So it's likely you're not gonna have this issue. So yours will look fine. For anyone out there who does have parallax on your site, you're just gonna need to pull it into Photoshop or Canva and fix that. <laughs> okay, so the next step is to get a computer graphic. So we're gonna use my favorite graphic design tool for this, which is Canva. So it's totally free and you can sign up for an account at canva.com. After you are logged in, you're going to see this page here. Just click custom dimensions and type in 2000 by 2000. Make sure this is PX and then click create new design. Okay, awesome. Now the next thing we're going to do is go over to elements and then graphics and type in computer mockup. Okay, so as you can see, we have all these different computers that you can choose from. I'm gonna go with this one. So it's not free, but it's only a dollar, so I feel like it's totally worth it. You can absolutely find some free ones. Um, if you go up here and you click free, you will see all of the free icons that are available. So, you know, something like this or this. Yeah, so there's actually a lot that you could use here. So I'm gonna go with this one and then I need to download this. So I'm gonna go up here to this little arrow, click on that, and what we want is a PNG. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a dollar. I'm gonna pay and download this. All right, so here is our computer graphic. Now, for this next step, we are going to need to use Photoshop. I rarely get you guys to use Photoshop in my videos, but for this one, we will need it. Uh, but you can sign up for a free seven day trial in order to get it, and this is a super easy function. Okay, so this is what Photoshop looks like when you open it. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our computer graphic that we just downloaded, and we're just gonna drag it into this window here. Awesome. Then you'll see this icon here on the left. It's a little wand with some stars around it, okay? <laughs> Click on that then come over to your screen area, so the white area, and just click on it, okay? And then you're going to hit the delete key on your keyboard, and it will look like this. So all we've done there is make this area in the middle transparent. So now you're gonna click File, Export, quick export as PNG, and save this, okay? Great, so now when I open that up, this is what you're going to see, okay? So this is going to allow us to put our website in there instead. 
All right, next we need to use Keynote, which is my favorite tool ever, and I'm realizing how much I'm using this tool. So you're gonna click New Document, and then just choose the white presentation. Hit Choose. Okay, great. So this is what it looks like by default. So drag your mouse over these text boxes and delete those. Then head over here to where it says Document, and down to slide size, and we need to change this. So we're gonna go custom slide size and change this to 2000 by 2000. Okay, great. So let's go over to our computer mockup that we created. We're gonna drag that into this document here. Great. And then you need to drag in your screenshot of your website. Okay, great, so this is what it's going to look like right now. So now what we need to do is grab our screenshot of our website and resize it to fit the screen. So I'm gonna make this a lot bigger. Okay, and basically I'm just placing it in the screen area. Okay, awesome. Now what we need to do is go over to Format, then Arrange, and click Back. So that's going to fit it in our computer graphic. And finally, we need to add the computer scroll animation. So you're going to click on your screen, then go over to Animate, Action, Add an Effect, and Add Move. Awesome, so zoom out a little bit, and you'll see this red line down here. You're going to go over to the right and just drag this back on top of the white square, okay? And now what you're going to do is you're going to move this up in a straight line. So I'm literally just dragging it up in a straight line and you can determine how far you want it to uh, scroll up on your site, okay? So I'm going to do that and then over here you'll see duration. I'm going to increase that to about four seconds and now click preview. So as you can see, we have created our computer scroll animation. So a few things that you can play with to get this looking exactly how you want. You can increase this even more so you can show, you know, your entire website. <laughs> okay, so let's say I wanted to go all the way up there. You could absolutely do that. And you could increase the duration to make it go slower. So let's preview this one. And there you go. So there is our super pro professional computer scroll. And then to export this, all you need to do is go file, export to, movie. And then you're gonna go self-playing, change both of these numbers to zero, change resolution to custom, and change this again to two, whoopsies, Change this again to 2000 by 2000 pixels. Hit next. And this is going to create your computer scroll animation. Awesome, so let's have a look at the final file. This is what it's gonna look like. And then you can just hit play and see your animation there. So. Go ahead, share this out on social media and celebrate your website launch. So there you have it, a super simple and easy way to create a scrolling animation of your website. Remember, if you do not have a website yet, click the link in the description below. You can actually try the first module of my online course for free. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon with another video. If we haven't met before, hi, I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I just said that. <laughs> remember, remember if you don't have 